Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Off Topic Show. Let's get right into it. This is a devastating story, and it makes you want to hold uh, your animals a little bit closer. So there's a story about a squirrel named Peanut. He's no longer with us. And uh, what's so special about this squirrel is not only the fact that the owner of this squirrel has been able to help other animals like Peanut. You see, Peanut... How do we see? We got to get back to the beginning here. Basically, Peanut was a little baby squirrel who lost its mom, and uh, so these, uh, so this man uh, saved the squirrel. I mean, he even let it go after it got older, and it came back to him. I and mean, what are you supposed to do at that point, right? I mean, if <laughs> so, you know. So anyway, he has a baby squirrel. It's named Peanut. He raises it. He even has a raccoon and other animal animals. But it was Peanut that went like viral across the internet, helping people, just bringing some joy. It's been his friend for over seven years, and now the state took him away, and well, as you're going to find out in this story, Peanut's no longer with us, and why? Why is it all these criminals run free, and there's never justice to them, but yet they're going to go take a squirrel out of a home, and wait until you hear what happens to this man. I'm hoping we can get an interview with him as well. I'm pretty sure he's busy right now, but let's get the word out about his nonprofit, and let's get the, the story out there about Peanut. So people can understand. And, and when you take it back to the beginning, basically, let's go back to the beginning. This was the other day when Peanut got taken away from him. Everybody, um, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everybody coming together for this. Um, I haven't received any updates on Peanut. We're still in kind of the same waiting stage. Um, you know, but as we're waiting, we still have to focus on our nonprofit animal rescue. Um, so I can't thank you all enough for the love and support. Um, it has been a terrible nightmare for me, uh, but uh, we still have 300 animals to take care of. So if you guys can continue to sign the petition and donate if you can, um, it really means a lot to us. Um, you know, the traction for the last couple of days has been incredible and it's all, all because of you guys. So I, I can't thank you all enough. And uh, thank you for sticking with us and, and my family. We, we love you all. Um, so please continue to spread the word and, uh, you know, let's get peanut back. Now he thought we can't thank all you enough for the outpouring support. There's a small chance we can get him back home. So please continue to sign the petition. So they thought they were going to get peanut home. I mean, they, they thought he was going to come back and they were going to hang out and, and make cool little funny videos like this. I mean, look at this. This is this is great. I'm dressed up as a squirrel. I mean, look at this. I mean, dude, why would anybody want to go in there? Wait until you hear what the SWAT did. I mean, it's in, it's insane what they actually did to to this man and his wife. But but let's focus on on Peanut. He's no longer with us. He doesn't look vicious. But what's going on? So he thought he was gonna he thought he was gonna get Peanut back. But as time goes on, what what happened? Um, I just wanted to update all of you, but I would first uh, like to say how um, grateful I am for all of the love and support. Um, you guys have no idea how much you have gotten me through the day and a half of just torment and a nightmare. I can't believe what transpired yesterday. I'm going to leave the details out of it, but um, we have uh, the understanding that the DEC will not tell us whether or not Peanut is alive or not. So um, I can't give you a definitive answer of whether or not he's still here with us. Um, I hope we have an opportunity to um, take him back and continue this journey on starting a nonprofit in a squirrel's name. Um, you know, starting this um, nonprofit has been a dream come true. Um, showing the life of a squirrel has been nothing but incredible, and I can't thank you all for the love and support. Um, so please continue to check the GoFundMe out. Please donate if you can. Um, we have hired a legal team, so there's going to be a lot of expenses coming our way. So I just want to say thank you for everybody who signed petitions and emailed and called and, and really supported us. Um, hopefully we could bring Peanut home, but I, I can't do it without you guys. So thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for looking looking out for me and my family and the animals here at Peanut Farina Farm. Um, you know, it, it means the world to me. So thank you. So this is the in Instagram for Peanuts Freedom Farm. Now this squirrel was bringing in enough income to support over 300 animals that have been, well, you know, the mother died or something happened. But due to bureaucracy, the, the state comes in and, well, you're going to hear right now what happened. It's really sad. It wasn't just Peanut, too. They also had this uh, uh, Fred right here. You know, I mean, the government took Fred, they took Peanut, and that, you know, guys, I'm not trying to get off topic here, even though it's the name of the show, but that's pretty scary, yo. I mean, the government coming in, telling you what's best for you. 
This is really scary. It's really sad. And I think we need to get this story and push it out there so more people can see it and understand that there's crazy crime happening. Illegal aliens. Like, dude, come on. <laughs> but you're going to go knock down the man's door? Put him on the floor? Him and his wife? Put him through all this over a squirrel? We, we live in a clown world, folks. Listen, buckle up. Wait until you... Oh, man. I mean, this is sad, folks. Hi, everyone. Um, I don't know how I'm going to say this. I just want to say thank you to all of you. Peanut was the best thing that ever happened to us. And we got confirmation that they put him down. I want to continue to fight this fight as much as I can, but we need all of you to come together and help us. Please continue to help us raise money for the ongoing legal battles and for our nonprofit so we can keep its name alive. Thank you all. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, remember, I, I just want to say, 300, ladies and gentlemen, 300, one squirrel, one squirrel, 300 animals, this one squirrel takes care of. And it's, 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 it, oh man, here we got it. Looks like I have a video I just pulled up. I don't know if this guy is their lawyer or what. It's already going viral, TMZ, mainstream news. What's this? Sean Mahar here, Interim Commissioner of the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation with an exciting announcement on how we're growing the next generation of forests here in New York State. Thanks to a partnership with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, we have $4.5 million that we're putting into a new grant program called Establishing Large Forests in New York. This exciting program will target funding to landowners of five acres or larger who can help us restore forests in the state and help us reach our 25 million tree goal. Take a look at dec.ny.gov for more information on this exciting new program, and we really look forward to getting these trees planted on our landscape. So these are the people that basically took took Peanut to his doom. The the you know what? This is getting everywhere. We we need to have what's going on here, folks. So the internet rallies behind famous pet squirrel Peanut that was taken by the state. All right, Peanut has amazed thirty five thousand plus followers on Instagram. No, it's 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 oh no, for half a million. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. According to NBC News, there were multiple, multiple bites. Now, multiple complaints, anonymous complaints, guys. <clears throat> See, this is why the internet, it's its crazy, man. The internet's crazy. There's people right here admitting, and, and they're, you guys, they're getting found. Like, you can't just look at this. On Monday, he's going to file a motion. It looks like certain people are out here admitting admitting to what they're doing here people filed false reports to get peanut taken away people jealous online trolls ladies and gentlemen just jealous envious people this is horrible see they, yeah and instead of you know th this is misplaced energy misplaced time there's so many more important issues to go about instead of going after this little squirrel this is what should get people Honestly, it should get people kind of thinking about the government and how kind of bullcrap stuff is. I mean, this let, let me just let me just let me just be nice. I mean, let me just well, I don't want to be nice, but let me let me try to keep it PG here with what I want to say. But we know this is bullcrap, folks. We know. 71 rescue horses at our nonprofit animal rescue. Uh, midway through that, um, a line of DEC officers, about six to eight of them, showed up and uh, gave me a warrant for a squirrel and a raccoon. The search warrant said Longo was in unlawful possession of wildlife. He says agents ransacked his property for five hours until they found Peanut and Fred the raccoon. We complied. Um, we weren't allowed to move. We were police escorted into the bathroom. Mind you, this is a search warrant for a squirrel and a raccoon. Um, and I feel like this was a little bit of an overkill. 
Longo says he was working on the necessary paperwork to be able to legally own Peanut as an educational animal. You're not only hurting my family by taking Peanut away from me, but you're also hurting the organization that we started on the back of a, a rescue squirrel. We named this organization Peanut's Freedom Farm because he has been such a big portion of my life and so many people around the world. You know, we promoted the fact that squirrels are not good pets. They don't deserve to be inside, but there are rare occasions where you stumble on an animal that unfortunately can't survive in their normal habitat. Um, that's the only reason why Peanut was ever a rescue animal. Longo says he rescued Peanut seven years ago in New York City after the squirrel's mom was hit by a car. He says he rehabbed Peanut and tried to release him into his backyard. But Longo says Peanut never developed the instincts to survive outside. After Peanut was attacked by an animal and lost half his tail, Longo let Peanut live in his home. And then he became best friends with my cat. So that's when we turned to social media. We put some funny and silly videos out there, and the internet loved him. He became the world's most famous squirrel. Peanut racked up a combined 3 million followers on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Longo says he believes Peanut's fame led to someone filing a complaint. I'm no expert in anything involving politics or the state, but they sent six to eight officers to my house from Albany to confiscate a squirrel and a raccoon, and it was signed off on a search warrant. So just that, that in its sense to say that is one of the most I, I, shocking things I could say, in my opinion, is we just used resources and spent an entire day sitting two people who run a nonprofit animal rescue and treat them like criminals. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this just brings awareness to the clown world that we live in. This is why it's very important to not only work on your mental health, but when you see bullcrap, you call it out. And that's what we do on the Off Topic Show. I'm hoping to be able to reach out to Mark and be able to get an interview with him, but I'm pretty sure he's really busy right now. So in the meantime, what we can do, we can check out his nonprofit because, like he said, squirrel, one little squirrel named Peanut was able to feed how many 300 animals they have right now. So let's get the name out there about Peanuts Freedom Farm. Go follow them on Instagram. I'm sure there's a GoFundMe and everything else. Go support this, this nonprofit and let's show the government and show Mark that there's people out there that care. And you know what? Sometimes, you know, we, you know, government, it's okay to have some government. But when government's knocking on your door for a squirrel instead of fix, fixing the potholes in the road or help stopping the illegal aliens taking over, this is what we got to ask ourselves. Maybe it's time for some change. And I'm talking at the government level too. But it all starts in the backyard with a squirrel and a guy and just love. And that turns into motivation and a revolution. Anyway, you're watching Off Topic Show. Thank you guys and stay highly positive. Rest in peace, Peanut. Justice will be served in your name.